Hello Internets, this is Matthew. A quick video to document and describe this guitar. This is a Fender Prodigy. It is a USA made, uh, well, let's come back to that in a second. It is a Fender guitar. Uh, about that there can be no uh, dispute. It is made in 1991 or maybe 1992. Um, it says on the headstock that it is made in USA. Uh, I believe that to be true. You will find some stuff on the internet that suggests that perhaps some of the components were put together in Mexico and then assembled in the USA, or maybe they even just fudged made in the USA outright. Um, I don't believe that to be the case. Uh, this neck is very similar. Here, let's, let's give a close up here. This neck is very similar to um, strat necks that you see of the era. The, the headstock shape is a little bit smaller than the normal strat headstock. Uh, it's kind of neat actually, I like it. Um, serial number is N1004131 uh, and again Prodigy made in the USA. Um, interesting neck, it's a rosewood fingerboard maple neck, uh, bolt-on construction, uh, has a skunk stripe, has a truss rod adjustment, pretty much exactly like the uh, USA necks from about the same time period. The finish feels like a thin nitro finish. It feels pretty nice. Um, on this particular guitar, I will show the one flaw that this has is it looks like someone had it on a stand that just cut it up a little bit right here. So between the fifth and the seventh fret, there's this little bit of wear uh, there are these little striations on the side of the neck. They don't interfere with my play. Uh, if you rub your hand over it, you can feel a little bit of indentation right there. Uh, that's the only real flaw this guitar has. All right, so let's getting back to the guitar itself. Uh, it's a uh, uh, single, single humbucker, kind of super strat configuration. Uh, also, like some of the strats of that era, it goes to two controls, master volume, master tone and where the third control would usually be is the output jack. I guess it's a little bit of a money saver not to route the body for the output jack, uh, put it directly there. Uh, works fine, and I actually like the master volume, master tone configuration. Um, in both of these positions, you've got a very stratty, single coil, uh, neck pickup, middle pickup, and then in the bridge you have a humbucker. This seems like essentially the same uh, tremolo hardware you would see on strats of the period. Uh, same claw and spring configuration underneath. The, uh, the neck plate has no marking on it. Um, and the main difference between this and a strat really is the body shape. This has kind of a more progressive sort of super strat shape um, where these body edges are much more rectangular than rounded. Uh, kind of like you would see in an Ibanez or some, of some other sort of metal guitars from that period. Um, uh, so it's an interesting bird. They're relatively rare. I don't run, them, run across them very much in my collecting. Um, and for a USA-made Strat uh, Fender, Fender-ish guitar that happens to look a lot like a Strat, um, these are really a bargain. Um, as of today, early 2019, you can find these from, you know, $700 to $1,500, depending on condition. Uh, I would rate this as kind of well within the middle of that condition range, actually probably towards the top. Uh, it's very clean except for those little striations. Uh, there's no real, there are no real marks on the body. It's very nice. The only other flaw to note is this little corner of the, uh, the pickguard right here has cracked off where this last screw was. It was just kind of poorly designed to have a screw in the middle of this little tail here because the screw cut too much and uh, it cracked right along the line that, that screw made. There's no functional difference and uh, 
the screw that's here holds this in just fine. So, um, yeah, it's a Fender Prodigy. It's a relatively unusual guitar. Uh, again, you don't see too many of these. Made in USA, kind of small, funky headstock. Uh, SSH uh, pickup configuration. Uh, I have it going through, uh, we're in the library now. I have my studio downstairs. Here in the library, I really, this room is shared with the family, and so I can't mess around with having a lot of tube amps in here. Uh, I have a Boss Katana head, which I hate to admit that I like, uh, going into a Kramer, uh, not a Kramer, but I mean a, uh, a Kendrick, sorry, a Kendrick 2x12 tween cabinet. Um, this is on the brown setting of the, uh, of the uh, Katana. Uh, so I'll play it out, play some tones, and I'll play it out. By the way, as, as my friend Austin would say, if you would like to be the next owner of this Fender Prodigy guitar, serial number N004131, um, please follow the link in the description down below, and it will take you to the reverb listing where I sell my guitars. Um, this is kind of a close call for keeping. If I didn't have too many guitars at the moment, uh, I would love to keep this guitar. It's very cool. It sounds great. It's got an interesting history. Um, and for a USA made Fender, it is incredibly cheap. So uh, please check it out. And uh, all right, I'm out.